Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And uh, today I'm going to actually share some artwork with you that my friend PJ Katakutin created. Um, PJ is an awesome dude. Worked with him for years when I worked at Awesome Comics. And he, uh, you know, I reached out to him recently and I said, hey, you, he's been doing some Venom stuff, like tweaking and like learning. And as an artist, he's constantly challenging himself and growing as an artist. And he's come you know leaps and bounds above where he was when i first met him and he was good when i first met him and uh, and now he's just phenomenal he's just a, such a great artist and uh, he's working on new techniques trying new things and again challenging himself taking his stuff to the next level and uh i reached out to him and i said you know i would i would kill to like have something of yours for the show and i said i'm just looking for a logo and he's been drawing these heads lately of just characters just their heads like doing like you know profile shots and stuff of thanos and other characters and he's posting them on his instagram i was like i'd love something like that um of me as venom and i even drew my own version of it which uh doesn't look nearly this good i mean my version was kind of like gorilla's style in a way like it was more like the head was not a human shape essentially it was more cartoony and i had like gave myself like really spiky hair and um because I think I had longer hair at that point, like a few months ago. So, uh, I it was so not like, I was just like, yeah, this is cool. And maybe he can color it for me. And you know, that's the favor. And he was like, um, can I draw this myself? And he's like, I'm trying to learn new techniques. And especially with something like a symbiote wrapping around a human head, like I'd like to do that. And I was like, well, I'm not going to say no to that dude. Like, yeah, please like definitely do it. So he was nice enough to draw this for me. And uh, I'm going to probably stop talking now. I'll just say his link to his uh, work is down below. I think I have his DeviantArt page and then like his Instagram link and Facebook page. I'll put all those down there. Send him some love. Uh, tell him I sent you. He's an awesome dude. Pick out. He has indie comics. He's releasing uh, Sophie 8 and I think uh, uh, Buster. Or, you know, he has a couple different things. Um, definitely check out his stuff. Buy his books. He's super talented. Uh, so check out all those links down below. And I'll just, we'll do the rest. I'll just turn my camera around. And we'll film me messing with this image that he sent and showing you all the stages of it and then how I photoshopped it. Or I'm using Photoshop Elements because it's just a little bit easier on, on this computer. Photoshop like runs pretty slow on this thing. So I just use Photoshop Elements, which is great to have too as a backup. And um, and I'm going to show you like how I'm going to adjust this and fit it into our logo. So enjoy. So looking here, we actually see PJ's original pencils. Um, we're looking at uh, right there and uh, this is not like a high-res scan or anything I think it's just a picture he took of his uh, tablet or monitor when he was drawing it but when he first showed me this I freaked out I was like this is just the coolest thing ever and I can't wait to see the details and then soon after he actually sent me these which are the inks and this is definitely um, you know like a, a, a screenshot of his monitor you can actually see the lines there of it uh, so it's a picture that he took but he just wanted to show me the, the, that he cleaned up some of the lines and uh, straightened out some of the teeth, made some of them more crooked, and uh, added some more features to it, which looks really great. <laughs> uh, that's pretty spot on for my hair. Uh, I didn't realize that if you drew my hair in comic book form, it would kind of look like Old Man Logan. Uh, but that's fine with me. <laughs> that's back before I shaved it a couple weeks ago. Um, so then, uh, yeah, so then here's the colors. And so the background, normally you'll have like a white background. Like, let me... Uh, deselect this because I copy and pasted it recently so you, if you normally that's what he sent me uh, so you have the white background his signature here which is uh, awesome I love his signature it's really cool looking and the detail he put in this thing is just amazing I mean look at that and I don't even think my camera could really capture the detail I mean but this is it's so good he's he's come so far as an artist uh, he even drew like the white part going around my eye like Venom has um, and he made my eyes just like stark black with a little bit of like white coming through and uh, yeah I don't know what picture he used as reference but uh, that's a good one that's very my face my nose does do that I have a big nose <laughs> I think I've broken my nose five times in my life uh, so yeah it's for sure he did uh, look at the teeth there like the tongue going around I mean he's just phenomenal if you're not following PJ, I, like I said, his link's down below. He's just a phenomenal talent. Um, so then it's taking my Spitting Venom logo that I made, and I took this tongue here. This is actually from a Scotty Young drawing, and I tweaked it a bit and had it coming out of the O. But my intention was always to put this drawing that PJ was making in for the O. So uh, what I did was now I've touched that up, and I've added this. So now it's Spitting Venom with my head as the O, and I think we're going to maybe tweak it a little bit here 
maybe rotate it um, a little bit like that so it can match and then uh, we can expand it a bit too oh, not that way Oops. let's first let's first pull it there we go and then we'll rotate it so we kind of have that going there looks good let's try to even it out there we are and then I have the with seek and destroy so spitting venom with seek and destroy is uh, I guess the official name for the show I gotta clean up the, I, the there's a space in between the I and the N there that I gotta clean up someone pointed that out to me recently uh, just something I missed I think but yeah I, if you layer it I took out you take out the head there so I basically went through and erased the O and the tongue and then put a new outline on the end, redesign the end a little bit, same with the M here. This is very close to the actual Venom logo, it's as close as I could get, uh, but definitely my own version that I made myself, uh, just using the original as inspiration. And I like overlapping, I don't know, I just like overlapping stuff, so even when you add the head in, you'll see the chin comes right over the E right there, uh, but that's okay, it makes the E look cooler. And the fonts I use, uh, this one up here is Resident Evil font, the word spitting. Venom is, like I said, I made, but it's as close to the Venom logo as I could get uh, from the 90s. And then with Seek and Destroy is in AR Darling. Uh, it's just a font that I really like and has like a kinetic, shaky look to it uh, when you don't bold it. When I, sometimes I bold it and I, I forget not to do that. Uh, but I like the font and uh, it's kind of been the font I use on a lot of the videos. So, so yeah, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and we'll have a finished uh, logo here very soon. And big shout out again to PJ for doing this. I mean, his art is just amazing, and uh, I could not be, I mean, I'm just very fortunate to know such talented people, and uh, ones that would uh, do something like this for me, for this channel, is just great. All right, thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I like messing around in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements especially, and I love working on logos. I'm still trying to get better at it. I had a really rough time with like um, Soulstar and Alain Vital. So luckily, someone helped me with Soulstar and created the logo for me. But with Alain, like I really struggled with that book. Um, I might try to redo it at some point if I ever like re-release it or do the movie version for YouTube. Um, and then, uh, and then you know, I, j I just I need help with this stuff. Uh, so it was great that. PJ was able to do this and I could put the head right where I wanted it in the O for Venom uh, so that way I can kind of avoid copyright stuff too because I'm thinking about making a t-shirt with uh, the head like the drawing and then adding like spitting Venom behind it or something like that or I don't know you guys tell me I'll definitely uh, need help uh, but uh, some someone was like you should make a shirt like that thing's awesome and it was a good way to promote your show and even if I don't put spitting Venom just do the head and put seek and destroy um, and I was like I like that idea that could be pretty cool so if you guys are into that concept let me know um uh, that could be another way i could you know fund a few things on this channel to like help improve some of the quality of it uh, so hit me up in the comments if that's into your thing if you rock a shirt with that drawing let me know i think i'm going to make one either way for me but if you guys want to get on that uh, let me know and I'll, I'll work it out and i'll talk to my friend okay cunning and he works for like a um a t-shirt making company and i'll talk to him and see what we could uh come up with you guys uh, come up for you guys uh but yeah any suggestions let me know uh, as always thanks for watching the channel like share subscribe all that fun stuff and hopefully i'll have more uh, venom comic book stuff i think the news is going to get slow again so um as long as footage comes out there i'll keep making videos for them uh, on those for you guys because uh, those are pretty easy to make but uh, I'll get back into reviewing some of the comics and talking more about that stuff too during slow news week so and don't forget carnage week coming up February 5th be there make sure you subscribe all that fun stuff thanks so much have a good one peace